everyone, welcome to another General Zero Hour replay. This is Scott Agorn. We're doing a replay from March 5th, 2022, on Iron Dragon Map. And the teams are Skippy, USA Laser, Titan China Tank, and that must be Shift GLA Demo. Who did I miss? Cordog GLA, Neo GLA Toxin, Matt GLA, Yankee is China Nuke. Got a hard army is USA. Skippy and Titan are in the back on this right side. Core Dog. Matthew up front. Matthew GLA. Can be able to send multiple workers up there. Uh, but Core Dog as well, and so. Core Dog building on his side. All three of those defenses going up are Core Dogs. I wonder what the delay is from Matthew. If he went for the extra supply early, and so it was a little bit delayed. Down here on this side, we've got two GLAs as well. Everyone up front is GLA. That's interesting. Shift versus Neo. What's this one? Neo is going to get the first defense up, but it looks like Shift is going to get the first garrison. Garrisoned. Which one was Neo? Is he Toxin? Are either of them Toxin? Or any of them Toxin? I don't remember. Yes, he is. Shifty, good luck with those garrisons. We'll see how long Neo lets you keep. On this side, the Cordoc has the garrisons. That tunnel is going to go up, but won't survive for long. That is a lot of RPG troopers. Cordoc really getting the jump on Matthew here. Matthew has supply in the corner, supply in this corner as well, so he's going to get supplies up and running. That will pay, pay dividends for him in a little bit, um, but Cordon's got his supply up as well. Nobody on that back middle supply with his right team yet. Still just green and orange down the bottom side. I don't see if Skippy's got defenses up in the middle, I don't see them yet. I think that was Skippy's garrison at one point. I think Neo just talked him them out of there and took it for his own. So Shifty's on the defensive now. Any infantry that's heading that way is going to get instantly zapped. Has tunnel networks. Glad he was able to get those down. But I think he's going to need help. Skippy being USA. I think some fire bases might be helpful. Get some range in there. Something's going to have to work on the civilian building. I see Titan coming into the middle, sending red troops in there. There's a bunker, just in case anyone tries heading through the very middle, which Hard Army does like to do. They're not there yet, but they will be soon. So which type of GLA are these guys? We've got a vanilla, both vanilla, so dead even, as even as you can ask for. Matthew found some garrisons. He just fried Core Dog out of his that he had and then took him, much like Neo did on the south side. So Kordog started out the aggressor, and then uh, Matthew able to take those from him. Wow. Really glad Pancake was there with these Battle Masters. If he can just blow up one of them, though. See, I don't know if Kordog is thinking about that. If he could just blow up one of them. Three Scorpion tanks, would that have been enough? Because I don't think... That's China Nuke, right? Battle Masters? Yes, they are. He can get a Toxin Tractor with him. I really thought Cordog had the advantage there for a second. All those Scorpion tanks coming in there, Matthew didn't have anything to defend. Uh, but Pancake, just the ticket. That was exactly what he needed. Down on the south side, Neo still owns the middle. Has not been able to dislodge these stinger sites yet. I think capturing that artillery platform would be helpful. Laser turret from Skippy, that was helpful. I don't know how much that took out, but probably uh, plenty. Wasn't able to keep it against these marauders. And here comes Hard Army. They're not going up the middle. They are coming right towards Shifty. 
So if Skippy could get some more of those laser turrets up and going, I think that would be necessary. If this south side is going to hold. Lots of Marauder tanks, but lots of Marauder tanks going down at the same time. Okay, nothing to shoot down that Comanche. Seeing that there, Neo can get some quad cannons up and going quickly. Both of these guys. Shifty using the flashbang grenades. Neo using his toxin. Nobody's able to keep these garrison for very long. So... Dang. I think a... I think a Jarman Kel would be helpful here from Shifty. Has he even had time to get a palace up yet, though? No, it's still building and those take forever to build. Up on this top side, did Pancake send in the Battlemasters? Looks like there was a lot of destruction. I don't see the Battlemasters anywhere. The Titan's holding the middle. I'm really hoping that Titan is able to really build his base during all of this, because kordok has been doing all the defending and attacking. Hope he's got a lot of economy can uh, come in strong later in the game. Here's some mix from Titan. I don't think I've seen any, well, no dragon tanks from Titan, but I don't think I've seen any toxin tractors from Kordog either. Just trying to destroy these buildings instead of toxin people out of them. So up top, advantage is starting to go to the left. I thought that I would say the same thing about the bottom, but this is a staunch green line here that I'm seeing. Mixed in with some laser cannons now. There we go. Who's capturing this? Shift. That would make a difference. Man, Shifty's doing pretty good down on the south side. I totally thought that Neo had the advantage. That hard army was starting to get rolling there. I guess there was just too many marauders that went down to the stinger sites and the laser turrets. If Kordog and Hold up on this north side, it really looks like bottom team has the advantage. Titan even pushing now into the middle. What is firing at? Okay, that's a worker from that. Taking that out before it can... Oh, it's a dragon tank. Where's Titan going to go with these units? He's got the whole middle open to him. He's got both bases open. He can turn whichever way he wants to. But he's got to do it fast because the buggies are going to whittle down his troops one by one. Really quickly. Okay, so Matthew's having to turn to the side. Hard army even sending in troops. Yeah, I don't think this crew is going to get too far. I thought maybe that was going to be able to do some damage on this base, but Matthew looking very strong. I guess uh, those three supplies paying off for him, because he's able to get out buggies, quad cannons, angry mob, and here comes hard army. Kordog holding up top, now has the buggy army getting started. Hanky came in it early, and then haven't seen much of him since, but there's an overlord, so he's there, he's got a presence. Uh, but now, all of a sudden, if Kordog had a force of, say, some more scorpion tanks, it looks like he could make his way in that base from that direction. Titan's distracting him down on this side. Still is threatening from this direction. Now setting MiGs against something. And south side, it's all skippy and shifty, it looks like. Yeah, Matthew's got a rocket, rocket buggy his way on the south side. I think Neo had something to do with that. Shifty claimed the middle. He and Skippy were able to do it. What do you do with it now? What do you do with this advantage? 
Palace is up, obviously, has been for a while. Again, a couple black markets up and going. It is hard to find a whole bunch of resources on this map. Titan making his march into enemy territory. This is a good group of units to run into. Take out some quad cannons. That's helpful. Now where do you go from here? Just running into more hard army units. That's not really what you want to see. You'd hope that this dragon tank could just get free right to those resources. Didn't make it. it got hunted down. Not much left to Neo over here. Is this... I thought I saw pink. I thought I saw pink. But no, that's hard army. Nuke. I wonder how many troops that took out. If it just uh, hit the defenses or if there was a, a group from Shifty ready to move in that it took out. Because that would have been very a very heavy blow if Shifty had an army there that it just took out. Now hard army heading in. Okay. Alright, now it's a question of can those defenses rebuild in time? And what happened up here on the north side? Matthew's looking pretty depleted all of a sudden. Did he lose all of his units helping Neo down south? Cordog was able to rebuild. It's got the buggies up and going. Picking off Matthew's buggies. Is Matthew distracted? He sees it. He's able to save a couple of them. I'd like to see Kordog bring in these troops back here as well. Don't forget about them. Bring them in close. That way, whatever g ground you gain from these buggies, you can defend it with your quad cannons and your marauders if, if somebody brings their troops in too close. Okay, this is going to be a trade here between these buggies. Kordog's going to win. If he doesn't retarget too soon... This is pretty even. The Marauders are going to give the advantage to Kordog. Ooh, Nuke Mix? Nuke Mix from Pancake? That'll help their cause. And what's going on down on the south side? The, the defenses did rebuild, but... Oh my goodness, was it enough? Hard army all of a sudden decided to come in all at once. Titan now coming down with some overlords. I don't think anything down there can take out the overlords. Unless it's a bunch of tomahawks. Oh man. Neo still some troops left down here. This is where the overlords could be uh, really useful. Down here. It takes them forever to get there. Skip this guy. Humvees, nothing inside them. Fortunately. Now, what's going on up north? Matthew was able to regain ground. I wonder if the nuke mags were able to turn the tide on Kordog deplete his forces. Titan's moving down south to deal with this force, and so he's not able to help out. Two overlords getting pelted by tomahawk missiles. And even now, this is not a guarantee because of how upgraded that marauder is. Never mind. Our RPG troopers do really well against it. Someone take out those tomahawks. Okay, now it's, uh, it's advantage up to the right side up north again. <laughs> Chasing down. Ooh, somebody put a quad cannon back there. You know they're there. All of a sudden, the advantage goes to the north side again. Battle masters against quad cannons. Wonderful. Keep your distance from the buggies. Migs. Okay, is someone going to be able to land a knockout blow here? Everyone's been on the doorstop of everybody's base. And focus on the buggies first. Get that guy. Get that guy. Okay. Advantage full to the right side over here. And 
down south. Skippy, Titan, and Shifty be able to stop the bleeding. I think Neo just sent in everything he had. Hard Army sent in a strong wave, but then stopped for a while as well. So that means up north is the still be what decides the game. This interaction, I really thought, yeah, where's those nuke megs from Pancake? What happened to Pancake's base? It got hit by something. It got stolen, maybe. I see artillery and barrage there. Because Pancake was what was turning the tide over here. Something took out his base. There we go. I gotta assume this is gonna do it, unless Hard Army and Neo are able to work some magic. Down on the south side, I see a bunch of purple. But I also see a bunch of stuff. Ha! <laughs> Titans! Just gonna run them over, maybe. I think that was the idea. You from. Multiple nukes going off. One from Pancake, one from Titan. Where did they go? To the core of Matthew's base. Not much is left of it. This top side went back and forth so many times. Now angry mobs from Kordog. So did the south side, even. Whatever took out Pancake's base, I think, was uh, the real deciding factor. If that's what happened. Because I saw him rebuilding an airfield. Now, where are these guys going? He landed them on a, a friendly airfield, so yeah. He lost his base at some point. That's what decided everything. That's what allowed Kordog, Titan, to finally get through Matthew's base. I see quite a bit of purple down south still. If Shifty can just hold on, it's really the main job now. Ah, man, he doesn't have much left. I don't think Hard Army's gonna have the... really the... the firepower, though, that Kordog plus Titan do have up top. Like, Pancake just got defeated. He's out. Shifty, being GLA, at least is supposed to rebuild somewhere if he has to. Though he, he does have no money. I'm not as worried about here this down here. I think, I think North Army still has this. I think East. Or the right side still has this. If Shift can just die very, very slowly, he will be doing his job well. <laughs> Though it looks like... <laughs> there really is nothing he can do, uh, except for maybe sell his command center and build his capital somewhere. That's Kordog running over Matthew's weapons, okay. I wasn't sure if Matthew had a force that he was able to rebuild, but no, that's... Buggy's running over workers. Matthew, no money either, so... Even if he did find a safe place to hide, maybe go rebuild in Hard Army's base, even if he was able to do that, he doesn't have any money. Right now, nobody has much money, but... Most of it is going to Titan from Core Dog on that right team. No Gatling Cannon on top. And they're still able to shoot him down with all those promotions they have by now. What did Titan and Core Dog end up having for economy? Nice full internet center. Dog had that oil, Titan had this one. Titan was the only one collecting from that supply dock, so it would have lasted him for a while. One full internet center is what Titan had, and Core Dog, a few black markets, and an oil. And on this map, oh, he's collecting from this center supply dock now, so that's what's gonna sustain him through taking out Hard Army. 
Who is always the last one to die? A little bit of overkill there on this supply center. Jeez Louise, Titan. Matt's been defeated. Now we just gotta take on the hard army. Shift is still in it. He must be getting money from somewhere. This would be a good place to get it from if he's got any workers left. Skippy, I don't see any supply drop zones. He must have an oil somewhere. Supplying him. Yep, he got the oil in the corner. So now here's where they're going to take on Hard Army from. Five Patriot missile systems. He's going to give them a tough go of it though. We're just going to leave that alone for now. That's a lot of Patriot missiles. There are. It takes a long time to pop those up. So Kordog's got a nice big force coming in here. Titan punched the way through with those overlords. Quad cannons, and marauders, and buggies. That's a good combo. That'll be helpful. Lots of paladins coming out. Hard army here. gave up or something. I don't know. Really good game. Very back and forth, both on the north side and the south side of the map. I thought Matthew and Pancake had it on that north side. I really did when those nuke migs started flying and taking out the troops coming in. I really thought they had it. Matthew was pushing in on Kordok's side of the base. Same thing on the south. I thought Neo and the Hard Army had it when they nuked the front line. It didn't rebuild fast enough and they were in Shifty's base. I didn't see a whole bunch of laser turrets. I saw Humvees coming in with nothing in them. I thought, I thought that went to the left side, but somebody took out Pancake's base. I don't know what happened. And uh, that was enough for Titan and Kordok both to push through the north side. Shift died very slowly. So an honorable death on his part. He did his part on the south side and that's what made the difference. I think Matthew got more resources early on, I have to believe. I think most of these were after Matthew was out of the game. Uh, but Kordog had a good proportion of resources as well. Titan must have been working on his economy early on in the game as well, while Kordog was doing defense against Matthew and Pancake. And so that paid dividends for them later on. Um, we saw that Neo, I think Pancake 2 just ran out of resources, like, that number tells me that he had one supply dock completely exhausted and no secondary economy. That nice clean 30,000 there. Neo didn't even get through his whole supply dock, he didn't have enough time. So this map really is hard to balance how much economy do you want to try to invest into for secondary economy, because that's a risk if you do that 
and your enemy is only pumping money into units, you might get run over, but if you can survive the initial onslaught, you build some secondary economy, it gives you the range to make it through the rest of the game if, they, if you can wear them out early. And I think that's what that right team did, a, a little bit better than the left side there. But very exciting game, well played by all. We'll catch you next time.